Hey guys, uh, we're finally back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so we've um, had our little summer break, which, to be honest, wasn't really much of a summer break. Um, we've done quite a lot in that time. Uh, put a new website up, up, mm -hmm. up and running. Uh, we had Baronet down here for Unified Communications with Moby Dick and Baronet video series. Um, and yeah, we've done way too much. I've been in Leipzig. Yeah. I've had my family over. Yeah, too much. Anyway, so, but what I, that means... I, I did nothing. I just make a break. <laughs> oh, it's all right for some, isn't it? Anyway, so what that means is uh, we're now back and we are going to continue where we left off. Um, and where we left off was talking about how to dynamically log in and out uh, from queues. Um, so, Matthias, you've come up with a sort of a, uh, here's something we did earlier, um, template, which you're going to go through and explain. Mm. Yes, and um, I think we have now uh, together all bits and pieces to make the final solution oh, fine. for our problem. Oh, so good. Dynamically, <laughs> finally, finally, yeah. uh, dynamically um, add and remove members by one extension. Okay. Good. And let's see what we did. I made a template because we tried it earlier and we made a lot of mistakes because it's <laughs> hard to type in all the brackets, yeah. curly brackets stuff and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We will see how we will explain everything. Okay, fair enough. Then take it away. Yeah. So, let's see what we got. Um, I'm in the Asterisk console here. We say Q show support, as we did in the last tutorials. And we can see here now James and I are dynamic members. We managed it already to call an extension and to add and remove members. Yeah. This was not a problem. Um, then we had a look to the database and said it must be a, there must be a better way to do this. Mm -hmm. Just call one extension into the Moby Dick and not Moby Dick. The asterisk. asterisk. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, uh, asterisk decides what to do. So um, we have a look at the database. What's inside the database? There we need the command database database show and we can see a queue stores the members. The, there is a, an entry in the database which you can see key uh, is support because the name of the queue is support and the family is queue persistent members. Uh -huh. And here you can see he stores who is currently in the queue. In the queue. Okay. So we could find out if somebody, this is a kind of concept, um, if somebody dials star 300 or mm -hmm. something, then we could have a look in the database, is he already a member? Uh -huh, if yeah. so, we say, okay, we have to lock him out because right. he is already a member. Mm -hmm. The other way around, if he is not a member, then we, log in. we just log in. Okay. So we can do decisions. Okay. Therefore, we need some functions. We yep. already talked about functions. Yeah. I think we used dbexist. Yes. Check if when we you did the, are alive or not. Yeah, when we, yeah, whether I exist or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, you existed. Yes. Yes. Um, that was the case, and now we need some new functions. Okay. One new function is DB. Database. Um, data, just database. Mm -hmm. So we need to read something out of the database. Okay. A key. Um, in our case, we can have a look to the console. Um, we need to read the support key and get the value here. Uh -huh. And then we have a look at is James existing in the key. Right. So there we need the other function. The other function is um, we need some function to search mm -hmm. um, in the string for to match. Yeah, um, to sort of query whether yeah. I'm actually there or not. Yeah, and um, this is a regular expression. Which we did way back. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we can then find out if James exists in that string or not. Okay. Um, if you don't know anything about functions, then you can ask asterisk. You can say um, core show functions. Then you get the list. We told you already, you get the list of all the functions. Yep. And there are somewhere above are the DP functions. You can also search in that list um, as you can in the applications. So I don't want to uh, go through the whole list, but you can um, have yes. a look at the referen as reference mm -hmm. the list. Yeah. Uh, no worry. And I enhanced our tutorials a lot. Oh, we yeah? have we have we have two shells open now, <laughs> so I can just. Oh, we're getting switch. swish now. Yeah, <laughs> it's faster. <laughs> okay, the other shell is just open with our dial plan and. 
here is what we got. Um, we have an extension which is star 300 and this extension should manage the lock in and lock out of James. So we need two things. Um, we need the function db, which is this one. Function db says db q persistent members support. So this function just reads that key uh -huh. and stores the value. Right. So at the end, um, the whole key is stored um, or is, yeah, you can get the whole key um, to the dial plan with that expression. We can compare it. We should have this key completely loaded into the dial plan with this expression. Okay. The next thing is we need the function regex. So we can search for is zip slash James existing in that DB entry. And we can, can combine those two. So regex, what we are searching uh -huh. and where we are searching. Uh -huh. And you can imagine if you do this in a video live, then you can do a lot of typos and mistakes and yeah. bracket stuff and <laughs> things like this. Yeah, that could, so, go, that could go wrong quite quickly. Yeah, we gave up and uh, we just copied it in there and we have a template now and we go through it and we do not try to type all. So yeah, we're going Blue Peter yeah, style. Here's one we made earlier. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah. So let's have a look. Um, these are just two comments. Um, for a better overview. So this is what we do really now. We say go to if and then we check if zip James exists in that um, value of our given key. If so, if he exists, we want to lock him out because he is already locked in. If mm -hmm. not, we go to lock in because we want to lock James into the system. Then we have those two um, extensions star 300 minus log out where we just say log out we do a beep for response we could also do an arrow beep so just a beep for yeah. log off and a beep for log in something like this <laughs> everybody can do what you want at this point um, then um, login um, James doesn't exist so the check if you are existing the database fails and mm -hmm. we just do a login also a beep and a hang up Let's see what we got. Um, we have a look at the database again. Here you are in there. And we have a look to our support queue where you are Remember. in there as a member. So I just call the extension. We got the beep. And we can see um, James exists, log out. And then he does a logout and he removes you um, from the queue. So here is our decision. So we get a one. So it's true. Yep. Our expression f uh, matches. And then we go to the first thing, log out. Because if this is true, we first do this. And if it fails, we do that part divided. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And we remove you from the queue. We can have a look again at the queue. You're missing now. So I call it again. There I am. We just add you because it doesn't exist. Back in there. And back in there, yes. So now we can enhance that setup a little more. Yep. But we don't want to do too much because it's the fourth or fifth tutorial about that topic. Yeah, it is, yeah. So I think it's a good example to learn something. Mm -hmm. but somehow we, need we should to stop yeah. somewhere. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Okay, so I just explained what you can do further. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look back um, to my screen. What is a problem? A problem is if I, um, this is my soft phone, mm -hmm. and I type that number, then I, ch I can just remove you from the queue if I want to, uh -huh. or add you to the queue early uh -huh. in the morning, or if I just yeah, so basically, if you want to have a lie-in, you can add me to the mm -hmm. queue and I get all the calls. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Stuff like this. Yeah. So maybe this is okay for you. Maybe um, there is a kind of supervisor mm -hmm. who decides who is in the queue and who not. Yeah, which and could be good for a call center, for example. And that's okay. Yeah. That's maybe what you want. 
but you could also restrict that. I uh -huh. can show you how that works. Okay. Um, just uh, in theory. Um, here, we could just add a line in the dial plan. And here we could make a check if caller ID, uh -huh. uh, so your number, is not 300 or 200. In or my extension, case, yeah, my extension is 200. Yeah. It's 200, uh -huh. then just hang up. Uh -huh. Something like this. Um, so I can secure this, or I can uh, ask for a pin. Uh, I can say read yeah. and then read a pin and then compare if the pin is one, two, three, then go ahead. Uh, so there's a Something few, like few options that make it basically that I'm the only person that can log myself mm -hmm. in and out. Mm -hmm. ah, that's quite handy. Something like this. Or um, another enhancement could be, this is just for you, James. So mm -hmm. starting from here to there, that's all for you. Yeah. It's not necessary that this is just um, for you. You could um, create a subroutine. We talked mm -hmm. already in yep. another tutorial about that. And then call the subroutine with the parameter James. And in another uh, case with the parameter Matthias. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have one function for managing log in and log out to a queue. Uh -huh. And you just call it. Um, I would also not just uh, give James as um, as parameter to the subroutine, but also the queue name. Right. Mm -hmm. So I can say James to queue support mm -hmm. or Matthias to queue support or Matthias to queue whatever it may be. Whatever. Yeah. Sales. Mm -hmm. Sales. I yeah. don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so we can enhance that example um, quite a lot. Yeah, quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but we stop at that point. Yeah. Um, we need it's, to move on to other yeah, topics. We, we, need, we need to move on, and I think it's important to understand all the concepts. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, everybody understood the concepts, how it could work. Yeah, and I think now so. Now you can enhance it to your needs because everybody has other needs, and mm -hmm. you can build yeah. it as you want. I'll tell you what, actually, if you wanted to uh, play around a little bit with uh, what Matthias was just talking about, uh, you can print out the uh, dial plan uh, scripts and send them to us, and uh, we'll have a look and see what they look like. Yes, um, and we could do a live debugging. Yeah, we could do, yeah, because, I mean, we've actually got a debugging uh, tutorial sometime down in the future, so mm -hmm. we could have a look at it and mm -hmm. if we've got some good examples. Right then, I think that's about it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, until next time, uh, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye. See you. Bye.